Breast density is a hot topic in the realm of breast health and cancer awareness, and for good reason. As a breast surgeon, I encounter many patients who have questions about what it means to have dense breasts and how it relates to their overall breast health. So let's dive into this complex but crucial aspect of breast care. Hi, my name is Tasha Gandhi Mahaja, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast health specifically. What is breast density? To understand breast density, we need to look at the anatomy of the breast and what it is made of. So the breast is made up of various different tissues. Glandular tissue, that includes the ducts and the lobules, fibrous or supportive connective tissue, and lastly, fatty tissue that fills in the spaces between glandular and fibrous tissue. And it is the fatty tissue that largely determines your breast size. Density is defined as the degree of compactness of a substance. And so if you refer that to the breast, it translates to how compact the breast is. A dense breast is one where there is a lot of fibrous and glandular breast tissue. And both of these are thicker and denser than fatty tissue, resulting in a denser breast. So are dense breasts normal? Well, yes, having dense breasts is completely normal. Breast density can also vary with age. During adolescence and young adulthood, breasts often have higher density due to the presence of more glandular and connective tissue. And generally, breast density tends to decrease as women get older. As women go through the menopause, hormonal changes cause the breast tissue to become less dense and breasts typically contain more fatty tissue. However, it's important to note that breast density can vary greatly among individuals regardless of age. In fact, nearly half of all women who are 40 years or older are found to have dense breasts on their mammograms. Some women may have dense breasts throughout their lives, while others may experience changes in breast density over time. How can you tell whether you have dense breasts? Determining breast density isn't something you can do at home by feeling your breasts. It requires medical imaging and typically through a mammogram. During a mammogram, your breasts are compressed between two plates and x-rays are used to create images of the breast tissue. Radiologists then examine these images to assess breast density. So what do dense breasts look like on mammograms? Mammograms work by using x-rays to create detailed images of the breast and it primarily detects differences in tissue density rather than specific types of tissue. Dense breast tissue appears white on a mammogram because it contains more glandular and connective tissue which is denser and absorbs more x-rays. This density can make it challenging to detect abnormalities such as tumours since cancerous masses also appear white on the mammogram. Fatty breast tissue appears darker or more translucent on a mammogram because it contains less glandular and connective tissue and is less dense, allowing more x-rays to pass through. Fatty tissue is easier to see through on a mammogram, making it easier to detect abnormalities that may be present. Masses, such as cancer, in the breast tissue can appear as white spots on the mammogram, or white speculations, if you like, regardless of the type of tissue that surrounds it. When you find something like this, then a biopsy may be required to determine its nature. So dense breasts that appear white on a mammogram can sometimes make cancer detection challenging because as mentioned, cancer can appear white and so does dense breast tissue. Now there are different degrees of denseness of breast tissue if you like. In fact, there are four categories described by the American College of Radiology's Breast Imaging and Data System, which is often shortened to BIRADS. The levels of density are A almost entirely fatty, meaning that the breasts are almost entirely made up of fatty tissue. B, where scattered areas of fibroglandular density means that the breasts are mostly made up of fatty tissue, but there are some scattered areas of dense breast tissue. C, heterogeneously dense, means that most of the breast tissue is dense breast tissue, but there are some areas of fatty tissue. And D, Extremely dense means that nearly all of the breast tissue is dense breast tissue and there is very little fatty tissue. 
So you're considered to have dense breasts if your mammogram report says you have heterogeneously dense or extremely dense breasts. And about half of people who have screening mammograms have dense breasts. Does having dense breasts affect breast cancer detection? Well, having dense breasts can make it more difficult to detect breast cancer on mammograms. Because dense tissue and tumors both appear white, tumors can easily be obscured by dense breast tissue, which can lead to delayed diagnosis and potentially more advanced cancer at the time of detection. Having dense breasts also moderately increases the risk of breast cancer, which is separate to the effect of dense breasts on the ability to read a mammogram. The reason behind this increased risk is not particularly clear. Although it has been hypothesized that perhaps cancer is more likely to develop in the fibroglandular tissue as opposed to the fatty tissue. However, breast cancer patients who have dense breasts are not more likely to die from breast cancer than patients with non-dense breasts. So what are the current guidelines for screening dense breasts? Well, in the United States, many states have enacted legislation requiring that women be informed of their breast density following a mammogram. And this has been followed by more frequent use of supplementary ultrasound scan examinations of women with dense breasts. However, there is no agreed policy across the US for supplementary screening tests based on information on breast density. In the UK, women are not told of their density scores and are not offered supplemental imaging based on their density. So is there anything you can do to stop having dense breasts? Breast density is often inherited, but there are certain factors that may influence it. HRT and having a low BMI can be associated with higher breast density, whilst increasing age and having children may be associated with lower breast density. If you've been informed that you have dense breasts, don't panic. It's not a disease, it's just a characteristic of your breast tissue. However, it's crucial to be proactive about your breast health. Talk to your healthcare provider about your breast density and whether additional screening methods may be appropriate for you based on your individual risk factors. Regardless of breast density, it's essential to prioritize regular breast screenings and maintain good breast health habits. And this includes performing monthly breast self exams and following recommended mammogram screening guidelines based on your age, family history, and other risk factors. I'll see you in the next one.